Thursday near the town of Slavyansk. The security forces say they're targeting militant positions and doing all they can to avoid civilian casualties. But try telling the civilian population that. In Slavyansk, houses have been hit, homes destroyed, the collateral damage of an increasingly violent conflict. Many have left the town. Those who remain are forced to take cover. The people here feel that they're the ones under attack. How can we live, she says. We have nowhere to run to. We don't have enough money to get out of here. This was the scene in another part of eastern Ukraine. Pro-Russia militants say the Ukrainian army bombed this village, Luhanska, killing at least nine people. Kiev says it was the insurgents who did this. Whoever did this, it's clear that civilians are suffering in what has become a war. Alexander lives in the town of Kramatorsk. The ruins he's clambering through are what's left of his apartment. Luckily, he wasn't in it when it was blown apart. Some friends who live opposite telephoned me, Alexander says, to tell me that I had no windows or balcony left. So I've come here to take a look. In western Ukraine, there's been conflict too this week of a different kind. A crowd of protesters attacked the governor of Khmelnytsky region, Leonid Prus, after he'd rejected their choice for chief doctor. There was chaos as the activists demanded his resignation. Eventually, the governor managed to escape through a...